What's up everybody? It's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 right here on YouTube, also on Facebook at grow365.com. My name is Mike. I'm an indoor grower and I primarily focus on hydroponics, all types of beautiful lettuce. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you receive notifications every single time I upload a video with very important keynotes on how to grow like me. Wow! Today is, what, January 20th. January 20th. Time went quick. I think the last time I uploaded a video was either a week ago or possibly almost two weeks ago. I think actually, literally, I looked a little bit ago on 12 days ago. Everything is looking unbelievable. This is not even a close shot. I'm like kind of like far away, but look at what has been going on. Look back at the previous video where I was approximately 12 days ago. I, I fed these two uh, buckets. Wow, look at this. I need water immediately. I, I literally just came down here. I'm, that's how raw I am. I, I, don't, I don't check. I don't do anything. I literally came in my basement, turned on the lights, opened the tent, and rolled camera. Okay, I don't, I don't stage. I don't do any of that silly stuff. Look at this. Look at this accumulation of root development at the bottom. You want to be you want to be careful when you have a, a reservoir. You see what's happening here when the uh, leaves start to develop, and I hate when this happens. When they get too big, you <laughs> you start and on this side too. I mean, it's like excessive on this side. When I have all three going, you have a ton of like leafage getting in the inside, and ugh. Now on the last video, I was like, oh, the, you know, this lettuce feels rough. Guys, this feels incredible. No joke, the time to eat this is now. Okay, I should definitely not be waiting, but look how beautiful this is. I mean, look look at this look at this head of lettuce, first of all. Look at the transparency in between that leaf. Isn't that wonderful? Look at the detail on that. Oh, I love this track here. Unbelievable. That's one heck of a lettuce head. Look at this one. Look at these leaves. Listen, do you, you hear that little crunch? I hope you heard that crunch. I don't know if you did. It was kind of light, but it was nice and hearty on my end. <laughs> Look at these basil leaves. Look at the basil, okay? Can we, can we talk about this basil, by the way? It's not as green as I want, but... And it's not as stinky as, I, as it's been before. Hmm, this one is. You see the difference? Hold on, let me see. You see the difference between... I like them. I like the basil leaves a little tougher. Uh, this way, you could put them in like a um, like a little grinder and mix it up and make yourself some pesto. Uh, if you're into you know the vegans or whatever, they're you know you eat a lot of pasta and whatnot. That's an interesting looking basil leaf right there because it actually doesn't resemble the other basil leaves on how they kind of fold over just like that. Interesting. Look at this. So this is one plant here. I got the other plant in here. Huge. These are doing really well. Okay, they're doing pretty well. Also, I wasn't expecting such great development for the fact that these seeds are like over a year old. I actually, uh, I think actually the lettuce is not. The lettuce is, in, is actually new stuff. The basil is old stuff. But look at this abundant, look at this forest of, of growth. Countries that are, that are, you know, uh, in many countries, in many places around the world, it might be tough to get food, clean food, good vegetation. Obviously, this is not sustainable, but for people out there, all you need is a bucket, a pump, one tube, and some seeds, some net pods. I mean, there's ways to get around this if you can't afford to buy it, but let me tell you, you're going to eat all right. You're going to eat good. I mean, look at the development that we have here. Humongous, beautiful lettuce, ready to eat right now. Some heads are smaller than others. And that's, again, when I mentioned to you guys, it's all, it all depends on the positioning of that, of that pump. But in this case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dump like two huge things of water in here, get the water right to uh, the net cups. And I mean... It's still getting water, and I'm going to feed these things right now. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to feed them. That's what I've been telling you guys. Uh, when I'm growing, I literally can go and feed my plants 
one time and there's just enormous development and I'm not doing anything crazy I'm not over providing nutrients I'm not under sometimes I am maybe under providing nutrients but overall I'm really not because as you can see I could totally sustain a beautiful healthy looking plant that's that's just rich in green now I'm not saying this is any type of nutrition because obviously we all know that lettuce doesn't hold that much nutrition. Well, some of the, some of the, depending on what type of green lettuce you're talking about, obviously they're all, majority of them are green, some of them are different, interesting colors, but it's always believed that different variations of colors have higher nutrition due to the, you know, their camouflage in the way of their skin, you know, reds, greens, yellows, stuff like that. That's why, for example, cauliflower is a white and it holds like no nutrition. Correct me if I'm wrong guys. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. Also everything that I have here, everything that I used to grow, make sure to hit the links down below. Everything is listed down there. It's a really good time to start yourself a setup like I have, especially if you're new here. Okay, all you need is a tent. You need this shelving setup. You need some reservoir bins, and I have a link for that just for you guys to learn how to do that because I showed you guys you need some lights, a pump, and a fan. You don't even need a fan. But this is nice. I mean, it looks like with, with the water percolating and with the plants, the humidity has been sustainable at over 50%, which is nice. I like to see it about 55, 60. And it looks like right now, since I did leave the um i have the tent open right now i believe when i first got in here it was approximately 75 degrees which is like pretty good it's actually a, almost perfect because it is right now outside my home uh 27 degrees outside i'm located in new jersey in the united states if anybody cared to know for all my uh u.s subscribers as well as all the international subscribers but I'm, I am really happy what's going on here. I literally, I've uh, just been super busy like always. Uh, no excuse, just uh, real life. Real life talk. Uh, also, look at this. Look at this huge leaf back here. Enormous. I can't wait to actually, uh, I, I think it's time, literally tomorrow. I need, give me, I, I, I wanna see 100 thumbs up. I wanna see 100 likes, okay? And I want to, uh, I want to be encouraged to go ahead and set up two down, probably three bins down there. And what I will do is I'll get some lettuce, I'll get some something else, and what I will do is I will show you guys how I take, for example, this plant right here. Without using seeds, I will take a few pieces of this plant, plant those two pieces and grow another plant just as big as this of basil which is called cloning. I've made a previous video on it. It's really interesting. It's a certain way to cut um, where the branches are. It's a certain way to cut it and you could literally clone by that. It's the same way that they're cloning for, for example, marijuana. Um, you have to, it's, it's all about basically, uh, let me just tell you real quick right here. Okay, you see, let me see if I could get out of the focus. You see this this branch right here, this node right here. Oh, sorry guys. You see this node right here? You see how there's a little branch right here? Well, for the fact that there's two large leaves on both sides and leafage starting in the middle right there, it just doesn't want me to focus. As you can see there, what I would do is I would cut this off. Let it develop just a little bit. I would cut this off and from this little bit right here, I can literally grow an entire brand new something that will look just as big as that in a matter of you know two to th uh, three to four weeks we won't be i don't know it's yeah i mean these i think the seeds also have something to do with it i'm just uh there's some of them are smelling stinky 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 like good basil and this one's just like a humongous leaf i don't know what's up with this leaf they're just ginormous i mean look at the enormous leaves but anyway i'm super i'm super hyped about this uh Everything looks really good, and it's like a really nice softness to the to the lettuce. And uh, I, it literally, I can't, I can't say this enough. You blink and you miss it. And what I mean by that is, you wait a few more days, 
this will start wilting, meaning like this, the, the, the leaves, the leaf ends will start kind of like shriveling, shriveling up a little bit like that. And that's due to multiple things. It could be nutrition, it could be light, it could be pH turning due to a lot of different things going on. Um, like the bacteria or whatever it is from the root system development below. It could be anything, but also the lettuce, it will just get bitter. Okay, that's the biggest issue that I've come to, concluded, over the last several years of doing this. If you blink, you miss it. Literally. The lettuce heads, they're still workable, but um, you're, they're, they're not going to taste as sweet and crunchy as it would right now. just want to show you again a little side view and an overview of how big and how much you can grow. Where are you going to get something like this? Crispy, clean, bug free. Every single time I go to a Whole Foods, I go to a Trader Joe's, and you know what? Of course, I'm going to go and I'm going to pay the additional 40 cents for an organic head or a few heads of lettuce or whatever it is. And man, I don't love gnats in my lettuce. And I find gnats and I find all sorts of like weird little things and dirt. I hate dirt in vegetables. Um, you know, obviously some vegetables require. I think carrots probably grow way better in dirt. I've tried carrots hydroponically. I've had the scariest looking carrot get developed. It's literally a nightmare. But anyway, this is all I wanted to say is that, you know, you guys have the ability to grow something just like this. Huge heads of lettuce just like this. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's an achievement. And I think it's just a great way of cleaning. Can you imagine doing this with your kids, showing your kids progression, allowing them to plant a seed and recognize that something like this can develop under a light without any dirt, just using water and some air? Out of control. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut it here. I've, I've taken up your time for, for a little bit. Hopefully, I make another video. My next video will be in a week or so. Uh, maybe I should say five days this way it's actually eight days because if I say a week it's gonna be two weeks anyway my name is Michael I'm here with Grow Indoors 365 give me the thumbs up hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next couple of days with another update maybe I'll tell you how what the lettuce tastes like we're gonna do a little mukbang on a salad from my hydroponic indoor grow thanks thanks for watching guys have a great week I'll see you guys soon